Hello and welcome to our Hannover Messe program 2021. It's digital, it's virtual. As we all know, we can't be in Hannover this time, but we make it happen and we have some new products for you in place that we're going to show you. Before I hand over to Zürke Rössing, who's standing in the Ottobock TV studio in Duderstadt, Dudwood. Hello, Zürke. I'm, uh, I want to let you know that we have a great program throughout the next days. You can always see it on paxo.com. Visit our website and find user interviews. You will find a special focus page on exoskeletons in logistics. And of course, you will find a lot of information about our three new extended products. But before we start with the product presentation, Dr. Zürcher Ressing will give us a warm welcome to our this year's Hannover Messe program. Zürcher, the stage is yours. And thank you very much for watching and joining us here at Park So Otterbock. Thank you very much, Janosch, out of Duderstadt in Germany, uh, out of our du digital studio. Um, my name is Zönke Rössing. I'm happy that you join us here uh, for the Hannover Messe, a special of Otterbock Park So. You know, like two years ago, this was a personal interactive event. Um, I still remember the hundreds of people we met at our booth in Hanover. Um, and this fair is an important one in Europe and also very well known in the United States. Um, this is where the world of industry, manufacturing um, and production is meeting to learn about innovation. And the Paxo exoskeletons are products that you love to touch and feel. Um, and you would love to you know, wear them and really enjoy those moments where you feel, for example, with the products here uh, in the picture, the Paxo shoulder, where you know, your arms start to fly and you can really imagine how this makes your job uh, at an overhead workstation, for example, much easier. But I believe uh, that this digital format can help you also a lot to you know, get an appetizer for what um, Paxo exoskeletons can do um, for you, your company, um, and your um, employees. Um, and of course, we are always happy uh, to follow up on site in the United States, wherever in the world, um, to make you feel and live our products and our uh, solutions uh, with uh, my team member. And uh, this year, here at Hannover Messe, we really have three highlights. And uh, one, of course, it's all about products. And uh, products uh, for Autobock Per Exo means um, creating even better experiences uh, for you um, in maintenance, in logistics, um, on the production sites, where you know, we experience users uh, working you know, under physically stressed situation in manual load handling, uh, in assembly, in welding, all kinds of jobs. And um, all our product ideas come from you, from the users, and we translate them into products. And uh, the best moments we have um, when looking at workstations with you is when we have an answer in our portfolio. Um, if we don't have it, we, would, we, are, we love to listen to you and you know, bring these product ideas uh, back home and start to engineer, start to design the products. And this, this year we have um, at Hannover Messe three products uh, that were refined um, or added to the portfolio uh, to make an even better job uh, for you. Uh, and one is, um, for example, the Paxo sleeve um, for um, the arm that helps you to you know, keep a cool head uh, when uh, the, the climate is heating up um, in your facility. Um, and also we have found a solution for better welding jobs um, in, uh, in overhead situations. Um, and we have invented the Paxo jacket for that purpose. And last but not least, we have also learned a lot about um, the packs or thumb, and we have improved it even further. And we have a new version that we also would like to show you today. But most importantly, we will 
hear user stories. I'm so proud and happy that we have excellent speakers uh, from you know, the real world out there at our customers, from Daimler, um, from Toyota, and from Cascade. Uh, Cascade being, one, being the, one of the leading medical technology distributors in the United States. And we will learn about, a lot about their stories and how they use exoskeletons to make workplaces better. And last but not least, uh, we uh, will see some really impressive results uh, from how effective um, the Paxo back, um, the, the, the exoskeleton to improve manual load handling situations. We will learn how effective that is in um, unloading uh, the lower back. And that is the result of our latest study on exoskeletons. Um, this is a rich program uh, that you will experience. Um, stay tuned. And the first step we take, to take, we take together now is a product presentation. Uh, and I'm very happy to announce David Duve, Duve um, from my sales team. David, please. Perfect. Thank you, Zünke. Thank you and a very, very warm welcome. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you are globally, since this is a global fair happening now. Um, yeah, I'm standing here in the Ottobock studio, live broadcasting to you. And uh, we brought a couple of new products with us that we're going to have a close look together in the next couple of minutes. And um, before we start to do so, I would like to further introduce uh, Ottobock, the company behind all that, a little bit to you, since it might be new to some of you. And here we presented a short overview. Um, the company itself, it's, um, uh, it's located in the center of Germany, in the heart of Germany. It's uh, more than 100 years old. It's a family business. And we are uh, market leaders in the fields of prosthetics and orthotics, um, also manufacturing wheelchairs. And um, I would like to highlight that because it's really important when it comes to our exoskeletons. Um, that's because based on those areas that we are doing business in more than 140 countries, we created quite a good understanding of the human bionics, of the human movement, and that serves us as a basis for everything we do when it comes to exoskeletons um, overall. In general, the question at hand when we talk to you, to clients, to uh, prospects, um, why are we doing this? The question is quite simple. Uh, the most uh, severe condition, the highest reason why people are getting sick and cannot come to work, or if they come to work, back to work, they might not be able to fully work again 100%. That is due to so-called musculoskeletal disorders, MSDs. And if you break them down, you actually have three large areas where an MSD could be developed by a physically hardworking person. That could be the shoulder and the neck area. As you can see in the image uh, right next to me, about a third stemming from that particular area. That could be from the wrist area or the hand area. Um, and most important also uh, from the lower back area stemming from the movements that we do moving back and forth. And due to that, we believed that we have to come up with a modular system. That means not one product to fit it all, but a modular solution where we have a clear understanding of the workstations, of the workplaces, and then create different products for different needs that you can use as standalone solution or combine them. And today, I'm very, very happy to present you three extensions to that already existing product portfolio. And um, yeah, let's start, let's dive right away. The first one that we're gonna see today is the so-called Paexo Cool Sleeve. Um, when my team and I visit you, our clients out there in the field, especially in the summer times, it's getting really, really warm. May it be inside, may it be outside, it doesn't really matter. And one of the key aspects that we realized is working with your arms up, physically working, means our blood flow is increased, and with that, our temperature has increased. We would like to conquer that. That means we would like to decrease the temperature in our upper arms and our muscles, 
and by that the temperature of wall in our upper body. And we found a solution with the so-called Paxo cool sleeve um, that I'm handing here in my hands. And um, it is basically the solution to a faster regeneration for your upper arm muscles, which are very strong muscles. Um, it works quite easy. You bring it in contact with water that could be uh, uh, just tap water. Um, then you basically create a cool surface that feels very, very dry right away after um, making red. So it's a comfortable, dry feeling and results in only seconds that the average temperature, when you put it on, on your upper arm, that the average temperature is dropping by about 12 degrees Celsius or about uh, 50, 54 degrees Celsius uh, right here. At the same time, like I said, it doesn't really feel like something red, but it's more like a dry cooling effect. It lasts for up to 10 hours, and after that, after that you would go back and then put some uh, added water to it. The nice part is you can use it as a standalone solution, just working with it without any additions, or of course, you can use it uh, in combination with Paxo shoulder, our shoulder exoskeleton that mo many of you are well aware of. So that is product number one, very happy to introduce it to you and ready to ship very, very soon. It stays warm, but now it's getting really, really warm. And that would be the second product that we are having for you today. And for that, we need, of course, uh, our uh, old flagship product, uh, our extra shoulder. For those of you um, that know the product quite well, um, you're already familiar with it. For those of you to whom this is a new one, so the Paxo shoulder is a system that supports us um, when we work with our arms lifted. That means when we work with the arms lifted above the heart level or uh, higher um, above shoulder level, above head level. And the idea is that we take away about 50 to 55 percent of the strains on our shoulders and that way we make the job easier and of course we prevent ourselves from developing MSDs in the shoulder area itself. So, when we started introducing that product some years ago, we came quite often to the realization that some of your jobs, they are very tough. So, it includes welding, it includes grinding, sometimes even open flames. So, of course, you have to protect yourself. So, our idea and our focus was to find a solution for you that makes sure that the system, but of course, even more important, you as an operator, as a person, is being protected. And the solution, I'm very happy to present it today. We have it with us today. It's the Paxo jacket. It's a protective clothing device, clothing device uh, jacket that complies with the highest standards that you can find when it comes to wielding, to grinding, and to open fire. As you can see in the, ch in the chart right away, right next to uh, me. And the general idea is that you simply cover yourself and the system with the jacket. So basically you put it over, can close it depending on the needs. I'm doing this right now. And the beauty of this product is, it is a, a lightweight. So we developed this product as we always do, together with you, our clients. So we looked into two internationally um, active shipyards, as well as um, two of the major train manufacturers. We came up with some concepts, we redefined the concepts and the results right here, right now. Complying with the highest standards and safety, making sure that you have fully flexible movements available, you can, can go down. We know that some of the jobs they require that you are sitting, that you're standing, working of course overhead. Everything is possible and the nicest part, the jacket has particular openings that are being covered, so no grinding particles could come in there, but once you open them, you can basically get in there yourself and adjust the exoskeleton and that way it's a clear face where nothing can get stuck that is basically falling onto you um, to the floor. Per extra shoulder jacket, our solution for you to protect yourself in these heavy industrial environments. Maybe a word about the exoskeleton, the per extra shoulder in general. So the system um, is active. Uh, we actively uh, have it in the market for um, yeah, more than three years, as we stated. And um, uh, we have done more than 1,000 projects with it. So we started in the automotive area. As you might know, we co-developed it together with Volkswagen. 
Um, and then we quickly realized that there are more applications um, that we can find solutions for um, where the system is truly supporting. That is railway. So the next time when you are uh, riding a train, the chances are quite high that our systems are being in use for constructing as well as maintaining these systems. Then we have aviation, for instance, the PAXO Next systems. Um, some of you might know it. It's developed uh, together with a big aviation company, Shipyards. Um, we just mentioned that um, the jacket right behind me was developed uh, together with two big shipyards. Then, of course, construction um, and logistics. We will hear a little bit about logistics um, just in a moment. So, and out of that, very happy that now PAXO jacket in combination with PAXO shoulder serving you and these very high Hard, very tough jobs. The third product for today, actually now it's getting a little bit smaller, is the Paexo Thumb. And not just any Paexo Thumb, it's the Paexo Thumb Slim. Some of you might already know the Paexo Thumb uh, in the current version, shipped many, many times around the world, accepted globally by many, many companies. And like Sönke Ressing just stated, we are listening very closely to you, our clients, and we got a lot of feedback from you. Many, many of you wished for a slimmer version to have a little bit more flexibility in the thumb area. And the result, very happy to present it today, is basically the new version. Again, it's coming in a box of seven sizes. I'm taking out my size right now, which would be uh, number five. And the, the general idea stays the same. You can easily, easily take it on, put it on your thumb, easily take it off. It's super, super light, um, doesn't weigh a lot, and you keep the full flexibility. So that means you can fully flexible uh, do what you need to do and the different applications. Um, and also you can, of course, combine it with gloves. So you can use it as a standalone solution or can use it together with gloves, depending on the need, depending on the circumstances that you're in. Um, like I just stated, it comes in seven different sizes, depending on the thumb thickness, the thumb, thumb length um, that you might experience. And um, in general, uh, the major differentiation, some of you might realize it, we are getting rid of the little bar. Um, so for that reason, some of the pressing and pulling activities that some of you are doing might be a little bit easier with that one. And, and for the other ones, we still have the other version as well. So from now on, you can basically choose depending on what's best for your application for your service. And having that said, very happy to introduce PAXO Thumb Slim. We just mentioned it, um, that logistics plays a key role for us. And for that, I'm very, very happy to also, of course, include um, our newest flagship, uh, which is the PAXO Back. We have it with us today, of course. You can see it over here. The, the, this system, after having been designed, developed, uh, and a project with one of the biggest uh, logistics companies in Europe. Um, we brought it to market uh, actually at the start of the pandemic more than a year ago and since then are uh, successfully commercializing it um, here in Europe and now also in the US. And the general idea of this system for those of you that might be new to it is that we want to create relief for your lower back. More specifically we're talking about the so-called lumbar sexual this is the L5-S1 region. This is basically where your spine is connected um, with your hip. And every time when you're bending forward, you might face the risk that you potentially injure yourself. And for that, we developed a system. You can see you have three contact points when you close or open the system. It's basically the breast area. It's the strongest bone in our body. It's the hip area, and then it's the, the leg area. And the idea, standing on the side, you can see it. The idea is that we basically create a redirection through the bars, through the line in the back, and redirect, retransfer the weights that are usually in our lower back directly into our very, very strong um, leg muscles into the floor. And now you could say, okay, uh, my coworkers, they are only lifting 10 kilos or 15 kilos, not that much, or only occasionally uh, 20 kilos, 25 kilos, or 50, uh, 50 pounds, 55 pounds. Let's, let's take a little example here. When you're standing straight, like I'm doing right now, 
um, there's about 70 kilograms um, that is uh, being lifted uh, into my limb area, so about 140, 140 pounds. When I bend forward and lift a 25 kilogram object, so about 55 uh, pound object, then that increased, is increased by five, more than 500%, just on the small limbs in this particular area, on the small disc in this particular area. And this is something that we try to conquer with this system because we are able to neutralize and, and actively support you for weights up to 25 kilograms or 50 pounds uh, for those in the US. The general idea is you can move fully flexible so again, our old principle at Otto Bock, the movement should be the same with an exoskeleton as compared to without an exoskeleton. So low, low limitations available. And the true magic lies within this particular area here. So you have our energy storage area, purely mechanical. So there's no battery, there's no engine in there, purely mechanical, uh, mechanically. And basically the moment when you are receiving support, bending forward, that is something you can decide upon. You basically decide with little wheels that you can turn in either or direction, whether you want to have the support right away, like I'm doing right now. I'm just hanging in here right now, not doing anything. So for me, this feels as if I would be standing straight. Or you say, ah, oh, usually I have to bend down a little bit more. So I find the optimum spot for myself. That means I can walk freely. But the moment I bend down like this right now, the system is kicking in and supports me in getting up again. And yeah, for that we prepared a little uh, gimmick on the left side. So let's take for instance that box over here. Like you can see, I'm moving freely, I can walk freely, um, no hesitation, no limitation. Now I'm standing here, I bend forward, I grab the box, the system is pushing me up again. I can walk freely again, have no limitation, can walk around. Now I have the grid box here, so I cannot really, really use my legs, so I have to use my upper body. I lift it there, bring it in here, and I'm free again. And that is the concept of the per axle back. And now the question at hand um, coming up is, how do I get to know this particular system? That is something that we get asked quite often. And for that, we develop a concept. Um, Based on the more than 1,000 exoskeleton implementations that we did in the past years, we understood that there is a clear, um, a clear correlation between successful projects and strong collaboration between you as a company and us as Otto Bock. And we always start with a very clear analysis of the workstation. That means you are telling us what is the workstation that you would to provide ergonomic relief for. Based on that, we look into our uh, past projects, we look into our um, uh, portfolio of exoskeleton solutions, and we find a suitable device for this particular workstation or these particular workstations. Um, because it's never black or white, it's never that one system helps in all the situations, it's usually a combination um, of those, and that is something we can easily find out together. In turn, when we do this, um, overall, we create a very high acceptance in your employee base, and therewith we can create the relief that is desired outcome for you and for us. Here you can see an example. This would be, for instance, um, uh, an example for a guided pilot. So when we say, okay, we agreed upon that you want to try out um, three per exo bag for six weeks, this is a typical example um, that we happily uh, discussed with you. That means we do a kickoff together, meaning we create a training for you for this device. Um, this is a CE certified device, so it's certified as a machinery. So we um, certify you to use it, to adjust it, to make sure that you really have a good understanding of the product. Then we start um, into the expectation management right away. That's very important, meaning that you, your team, your operators, we basically um, welcome you and bring you up to the latest developments. What is an exoskeleton actually capable of and what are the limitations? Because it's, like I said, it's not the solution to everything, but it can be a good solution to some things. Then we start a trial together. We support you 
to make it a little bit more ob objective um, in a way that we present you with three um, dedicated surveys, uh, questionnaires that we developed with some of our clients in the recent month that give you the opportunity to ask for structured uh, feedback that is being monitored throughout the trial. And then in the third step, at the end of it, we basically overlay the feedback. We overlay your feedback um, that, that what you are seeing, looking at the shop floor, talking to the people with the surveys, and that being put together, we create a comprehensive overview and comprehensive picture saying, okay, what is actually happening if we would now go ahead and introduce the exoskeleton to workstation A, B, C, etc. That way we can really make sure that we have the right combination of an exoskeleton to your workers' needs to the workstation. And yeah, please, please let us know. We are happy, happy to offer you such an experience package as well. Happy to offer you uh, support where we can. And having that said, uh, I'm playing back to Janosch and uh, I'm waiting your questions. Thank you very much, David, for one of these great presentations. Always enjoy, I always enjoy to watch you present the Paexo brand, new products, and also the best seller here. It's always a joy. So one of the questions is, when will they be available, the new products? Very good questions. Um, so you can order right now, and we will start shipping them out right before it's getting warm in the next three to four weeks. Mm -hmm. And another question that came in via email was, um, uh, are there already initial feedbacks from the experience packages? So what's happening? I mean, you very well explained the process and everything, but what's happening on the ground? Yeah, no, that's, that's, that, is, that is very important. Um, so we start going in with you and your team, of course, and make sure that everybody has a clear understanding. Um, then basically, we have a very, very close relationship um, within the first weeks. That means after the kickoff, after one, after two, after three weeks, we have a regular exchange with you. One of our people, one of my colleagues or myself, we are exchanging quite closely. And then um, eventually we only need three to four weeks for, for receiving the first feedback. And then we realize quite fast what are potentially good workstations. And that's happening. I mean, that's happening. We, we did that the whole last year because in the pandemic, what happens? People stayed at home ordered more and more, so logistics just went up. But, but you know better than I do because you are the experts there in the logistics fields. And so what happened is that we could successfully identifying the workstations where we have a perfect match. And for these workstations, the companies then could decide, okay, I have an understanding of the workstation, I have an understanding of how to introduce it. Now I'm gonna order um, a selected number of systems um, depending on the size of the station, of the location or the company itself. And, and then usually you have another day of training where we gladly support you and you basically kick it off um, within the, uh, the umbrella of an implementation, so to say. Mm -hmm. And how is the feedback of the users? So can you share some insights here with us? Ab absolutely, absolutely. So um, of course, it's something new. So um, let, let's, be, let's be quite honest here. It is something new that you have to get used to. And so far, it's like a new pair of safety shoes. They, uh, you need a little bit of time. And that's, for instance, why we recommend, let's start slowly and very gently. So in the beginning, one hour per day for the first one or two days. Then we incrementally increase it. And after one week, usually you can use it um, as long as you wish. Because, very important, that's a question that's coming up quite often, our muscles are still active. So you're still physically active and you can use it all day long. And the feedback then, basically it differs a little bit. Um, some people, you have that effect after three or four days right away that they say, when I go home, I, don't, I feel less fatigue. I feel, I feel quite more comfortable. And then after two weeks, you have the next peak, the next spine point where people are telling us, well, usually it was, it was very obvious to me that some days it was a bad day, I need to lay down. That is just decreasing. And then it's the perfect timing for us to say, and that is just the tip of the iceberg because what we're actually doing here goes really, really deep. And so for that reason, that is one typical feedback. Another feedback um, is, of course, that especially when it comes to the adjustment here because you can adjust a lot, that we encourage you as the user 
to just play around with it. This is like a new car. You have a couple of gears. You have to try out yourself. What is the best gear for myself or my workstation? And we encourage you to do that and happily support you there. Okay. So thank you very much, David, uh, in the TV studio of Autobock in Duderstadt. Thank you very much also to Dr. Zulke Rössing, who was introducing us to our Hannover uh, Messe program this week. Um, we have some great interviews going on and we will publish them throughout the next days. We will have a focus on the logistics, uh, uh, exoskeletons for logistics uh, on Thursday. And we welcome everyone who's watching this video on YouTube or on LinkedIn to visit our website www.paexo.com and inform yourself about our products. In case you have any questions, we are very active on LinkedIn. Just leave us a comment or write a mail a message to one of our uh, team members or write us an email. We are always happy to help and to uh, figure out if you have a working station where an exoskeleton can empower your workforce. So thank you very much for watching and hopefully we could inform you and you will soon use an uh, exoskeleton in your uh, workplace. Thank you, David. Thank you, Zürnke. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Yeah, Alfie.